just look for her. There you go. And I want to try that out as well, Gigi. To the Red Eyes People's Country. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. Welcome to the Red Eyed People's Pantry. Welcome to the Red Eyed. <laughs> the Red Eyed Chefs in the People's Pantry. Yes. Today at the People's Pantry, Jamie will be blindfolding me and allowing me to pick five items from the kitchen. These items can be from the refrigerator, freezer and or cupboard. She will select five items and we will try and make a meal. Let's get started. <laughs> blindfold me up, baby. Now we wrap the blindfold. Sorry, mate. No, you're not. Cheers, geez. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I can find is black. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. So, you dropped your red lettuce hat. There you go. Blindfold on. And now we're going to go to your first location. So, if you would like to move around here and then open said fridge, put your hand up, uh, left a bit, and there you go. And you can pick as many items as you possibly want. But is it Jack's? But if it's Jack's, I'll just say and then we'll, we'll cook another one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. Right. I'm just, you know, learning when the next job's coming in. Yeah. That, that's the freezer. Very intriguing. Uh, Jamie, can you okay, do that's an interesting uh, item. Pass the ash, Jamie. Uh, Interrupted off the <laughs> Yeah, go and have it. <laughs> okay, interesting. And you can select from other items in uh, other places Yeah, as well. I've got two from there then. Yeah, and if you want to come back to it, you can come back yeah. to it, you know. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> then you need to come to the cupboard. <laughs> you can uh, shut the door. Yep, there you go. Let you do that. There we go, legendary. And now, could you walk over to the, uh, to the cupboard, please? Thank you. Yeah, like, yeah, it's just so funny that it's fucking legal as well. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's just like it's so blatantly obvious. Like, so you want to like, you want to walk forwards? <laughs> catch any fucking people. <laughs> Which way forwards? Yeah, a yeah. little bit more, a yeah. little bit more. Uh, yep. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Wait, well, I don't know if this is the right sense. cupboard or not. We'll find out. Yeah, I think it is. It's, it's ah, so that. Right. Yeah. 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 So you have already taken two items, so you have three items left. You can either get another from the fridge or all three from here. <laughs> if this meal is, su yeah, is successful, we will win a prize as well. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. What, is, what does it say to you? What does the shape say? Tomato. <laughs> tomato. It could be a tomato. That's the square tomato. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know you mean. <laughs> Shakeable, intriguing. I could really do with an onion. Okay. Well, you're gonna have to. You think that's an onion? No, I want that, but I you just want, want that. an onion as well. So well, you've got five items now. Can I then? add an item? Uh, yeah, you can add an item for 50 pence. Okay. What's going on? Is I'll that add. Huh? You can't say what the. Jack! <laughs> it's a surprise, she's picking items. <laughs> Back to the. Where, where would the onion be? It's not in the other ones, just like lovely and tasty. So, uh, move a bit. <laughs> yep, yep. Right, are you getting one more item? Yeah, where's the onion? You have to find it, that's the whole oh, point. Just, just <laughs> I can't give you the answer. He's probably He's going, just going back to the fridge. <laughs> Ah, oh, Jack has arrived at home. <laughs> 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 
Right. Wait, 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 wait. I just said take the prize card off. You found the onion. Right, so your items are, as chosen, one block of mature Tesco cheddar cheese. Oh. Hey, one Spanish chorizo. Spanish. One onion wrapped, half an onion wrapped in cling film. Well, we can't fucking use that much of a hey. chorizo. <laughs> one basmati rice. Right. One. Is he sold? Tomato <laughs> pesata. <laughs> one bag of potatoes. <coughs> oh, there you have it. Tomato and onion. But we're supposed to, we're and supposed to figure it out. potatoes filled with bacon and cheese. Right, Jamie, you're allowed to do it as long as you get some more bacon at some point. Yeah, of course. Deal. <laughs> Your suggestion? My recipe suggestion is... <laughs> My recipe suggestion. Cook up some potatoes. Mm-hmm. Cook them up. Uh-huh. Then we're going to rig them out. Rig them. Rig them out. Then while we're doing that, oh, we're going to cook some bacon. bacon oh. on the and grill. some gonna on the pan, maybe. Cheese. Cheese. Then with the jack of potatoes that we've made, that we've cooked out, we're going to mix the potato, chopped up bacon and the cheese together. We're then going to restuff the potato, put them back in the oven for five minutes and let them bake. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're going to be making some rice, tomato sauce and chopped onion with a little bit of Spanish chorizo. Spicy, spice, spicy, spicy. Spicy. Spanish chorizo. Oh. You oh, actually making tea from that? Yeah. Because <laughs> that's what we do here on the Red Eyed Chefs in the People's Pantry. I love how you're keeping it going. <laughs> how are you? So after about an hour, we are at the mashing process and uh, the figure stuff. I think we should have boiled it first. It's uh, not really mashed very well. I mean, we're both going to sweep it out. But I decided that wouldn't work. We're going to try and mash it instead. Uh, the chef, final product. Chef. Hang on! Now we have the final Knife product. And fork. This is the. We decided to do a mashed potato instead. There isn't the enough. potato didn't work very well. Very and we decided to put rice with it, which is the original curd. Lovely. We've got bacon and cheese in there. Oh, thanks for the one. And then we left it. Give me. There you all are. One, two, three, four, five. And that meal was all cooked in just 30 seconds. <laughs> Thank you very much. <coughs> Chorizo and tomato. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but the fucking rice <laughs> is absolutely lovely. Yeah. But it could do without the spiciness of the chorizo, just the classic one we've got in the fridge as well. It wasn't even spicy. Fuck off. <laughs> it was. Right. And then the potato, great idea. Like a little fucking sort of jagged potato bites. You know what I mean? With a bit of bacon, a bit of cheese, a bit of butter, I hope. I don't know if there is any in there. Oh. Potatoes are fucking raw though. <laughs> that, would you give it out of honestly, 10? Honestly, I nearly went. <laughs> what would you give it out of 10? Together? Yeah. I don't know if they go together either. <laughs> but, <laughs> out of 10, I'll give you 10 for effort, but the meal itself, 6 out of 10. Not being horrible. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so what did you say, mate? Uh, no, I love it. That's bad. No, it was alright. Potato <laughs> had more the texture of a carrot, but maybe we can look past that. <laughs> uh, Not a roasted carrot either. Yeah, no. <laughs> raw carrot. Yeah. You've had your say. Hold it up, Dale. Hold it up, Dale. I don't know what, don't know what Jack was talking more about, more about more the spiciness. <laughs> I don't think it's spicy at all. Uh, I'd say 10, for, 10 out of 10 for effort. I love that he keeps looking at it. He's <laughs> empty. I, I know, I don't know what to do. Out of 10. Uh, out of 10, probably about 6 to 7. Oh, okay. 6.5. Mm. Well, as, a, as one of the people who helped in the making of this process, I, uh, I would say that the amount of. <laughs> You're the fucking chef! Hey, hey! I'm allowed to judge my own food. It doesn't make it into the judge's count, but you know. I think, <coughs> I think I've really got what the judges are looking for, you know? I think we put our heart and soul into it. Maybe it's a bit raw, but <laughs> it came from within us, you know? Um, I thought it was questionable, but nice. I ate it. Yeah. A bit crunchy. 
potatoes were, because they're a bit raw, but I mean, I'd eat it again. The only thing was missing was a crumbled, crunchy <laughs> chocolate one. The salt <laughs> actually did make it nice, so. I think this what? is Amanda Holden, I think that's a good one. <laughs> out, of 10, out of 10, I'd say five. Ooh. Oh my god, that's just fucking out of his mouth. Yeah! Brutal, yeah. bro! Give it, I mean, I love the rice, the rice is very tasty. Um, but the potato, nah, not good. I'm a little bit pissed off at myself because last time I tried to attempt those pulled out jacket potatoes, they were a treat. And this time it just that went down the drain. Mush. I know. Well, yeah. I personally, oh, fuck it, it goes on. I am, I am deeply, <laughs> deeply offended by the judges comments. I, I, I came on this show with a dream. And you've taken that dream. Oh. You smushed it into tiny little You need a new dream, one. Yeah, you should have chosen a different dream, mate. I am a professional. He's actually a chef, can I just say? <laughs> <laughs>